All right, I'm here at New Life Thrift. Nice day off from work, but a day off for thrifting. Let's get after it. Forty bucks on tested. Oh, I'm gonna pass on that. All right, we started off with this Lion King board game. It's really funny. I uh, this was here last time I was here. I almost bought it, but uh. I mean, the price is just not right. Sold as is, not a complete set. And I'm gonna be honest, it makes me pretty happy to see this because, you know, I even told them, I said, yo, I think this is priced a little too high. They were just like not having it for me last time I was here. This is probably like over a year ago too. All right, we got a small update here. This is five bucks, but I'm probably still gonna grab it because I know I can flip it for more. This thing's pretty cool. Two bucks. I'm only gonna buy this if the figures are in here. And we got a Lion King board game. Old Sonoka before. Players that don't even exist anymore. Awesome. Sean White. I don't know. I don't think Sean White's that big. He's gonna Sean Witherspoon. Jamaica Eagles hats, right where they belong. The Flyers new era. This just looks Ed Hardy. But it says Miami Inc. I'm trying to look that up. I shouldn't be buying more hats right now. Four dollars for a youth hat. It's real pricey. Honestly, I'm probably gonna pass on all these. Alright, we got thin and pads at the house. But we'll look these two up. This would be a good buy if it wasn't $20. I don't feel like making ten dollars on something that could be so breakable. All right, we just got done inside of there. Um, I only bought four things. Ended up putting that Star Wars board game back because it was missing every piece. Um, this one here, I saw these two items. They were both priced around. This one was priced at twenty-five. This one was priced at eight bucks. And I pulled the old. Oh, but this one's priced at eight. Why isn't this one priced at eight? So she gave me both for 16, got this board game for three, paid two for this little glass paperweight. And we're looking at some pretty decent profit. All right, so if I'm being honest with that store, I'm not like completely thrilled. I just watched some other lady leave with nothing. I was going to leave with nothing, to be honest. I wasn't really in the mood to try to force some uh, power moves there, but I did. going on everybody we're out at this thrift store oh, not this one this one over here Let's see if we can find some cool stuff how you doing Uh oh. Just gonna make a pile of stuff right here. 
then I'll, I'll come to the house. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do like the change if you want, and I, because we didn't really price these. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Please don't touch me, sir. <coughs> Corey. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. Look at this thing. Look at this. Wow, that's cool. This guy, look at him, he's running through the store. Damn, look at this thing. Kmart. Oh, yeah. New soda stream. Boom. And just, you know, um, you. You know, when I got there, uh, there was this car that was kind of like locking at her street a little bit, so I had to make like a wider turn. How are you doing today? All right, how about you? Oh, not bad. This is very nice. I mean. uh, it's paper that gets thrown out, but it's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> That's pretty cool. What do you think something like this goes for? Another Hot Wheels one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't beat that. Well, it's ripped and it's broken. Uh, but... Thank you. 
Oh no. I'm hitting it. Maybe five bucks for the whole box? I'll do it. Yeah, can't say no to that. I'll put it in the pile. Where's your pile? Yeah, build a nice little pile in the front here. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm having fun today. I got some Mickey Mantle stuff on her too. Oh yeah, what do you got going on over here? Oh wow. Five dollars for everything. I'll take it. Sold. Plastic I have two in the car right now and Do I was you? yeah, this would be perfect. You go right with the set. Can I ask you a question on the price? See like any price on any of them. Uh, let me look out in the window, because I think we have some. I thought they were like two or three dollars. Yeah, check this thing out. This is pretty interesting. It's like a little like soup. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some mold. mold. Yeah. Oh, yeah, from '66. That's pretty badass. Yeah. Are you grabbing that? No, there's. Can you take that? You don't have any dates. Yeah. Still there for that yeah. price. Classic right here. If you haven't seen it, check it out. This is one of the, one of the best. This one, this lenticular is pretty cool. I just want to buy it just for this lenticular. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Cool lenticular. Wish I could get. All right, I think that's it for me.
Where did he go? Oh, there's stuff downstairs? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> now you've had it. I don't think I'm ready anymore. <laughs> oh, man. He's What's going on, everybody? It's another video here today. I'm here with uh, my boy, uh, Mizba. There he is. Boy. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be the special guest on today's, uh, you know, thrifting with me. Uh, thrifting with Ryan Risa. I don't know, I'm working on the name of the show still, but we're gonna go with that for now. Um, because it's just tough times, people. And uh, yeah. So Mizba's gonna go through some of the items I thrifted earlier today. We're gonna gauge his reaction. He's a stranger to what I picked up. He has no idea what I bought. And yeah, he's gonna unload it with me. Today we're at Chick -fil we're in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, by the way. Getting some proof. Madhouse man. nowadays. You think about this place and you're just like, how? What are they selling there? It's obviously chicken, but like, man, that line's long. All right, well, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, stay tuned. Next time you see me, we're going to be in the living room or the dining room. We're in the studio, and we're going to be talking about what I bought. After Mizba helps me unload everything from the car. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yeah. We're back. We're not even going to do this shit inside. We're going to do it right outside, right in the streets, because that's what we're about, people. We got Mizba here, and we're going to talk about some of the items that I've thrifted today. So we're going to start off with this big item right here. I'm going to pull it out. Right here is what we have. It's a, a dollhouse. It's something like that. It's like a church uh, wedding donations bin, handmade by the the bride, the, the groomsmaid's mother. I don't know, whoever that is. The bridesmaid's mother. I don't know. It's got a jacket. Yeah, the bride's mother. But it's pretty cool. Donations are in there. I mean, it came in this cool ass case. The lady had it as make an offer and you see that in the video she ended up taking it for five dollars she's like we started at 40 worked our way back it's crazy i don't know that's good value i think i'm gonna get at least 50 to at least 50 for it i don't know i'm not gonna say higher but 50. next up we have these marvel prints these are old very old it's miss you could take that top one yeah who is this this is um if you look at this one you'll see it's a marvel and uh we got a uh, Spider-Man and the Green Goblin, and this one here is, I think it's the Fantastic Four with the Silver Surfer. Oh. Uh, Stan Lee items. Uh, I paid a dollar a piece for those, so you can't go wrong there. There. Yeah, not a bad deal, right? Yeah. Next up, we have this framed linen painted uh, piece. Reminds me of my childhood. This reminds you of your childhood. Yep. Hard to believe. But, uh... <laughs> What's great about this is I paid one dollar for this. Now you know the beauty of that, Nisba. Mm. You can't find something of this quality at the dollar store. Like, look at this. This is <laughs> KD hand prints, pure linen. Somebody hand painted this on linen out in Rhode Island. I don't know frame. when, but yeah, in the frame. You called it out perfectly, Nisba. The frame oftentimes is worth way more than a dollar. Uh, just getting something framed like this costs a fortune. Uh, next up, we got a play. Mate igloo cooler. Oh, uh, middle school. You know about coolers. Yeah. Now, see, Ms. Bizarre, girlfriend recently bought a cooler for me. It's a Coleman cooler. They're going to be taking it out on vacation this picnics. summer. It's great. Picnics. Picnics galore. This guy's a picnic machine. Little playmate. He brings samosas. I don't know if you know about those. It's <laughs> an Indian mimosas, dish. Samosas. Yeah, not mimosas. Not the samosas that the Girl Scouts are selling. It's greasy. And yeah, not it's very greasy and it's non alcoholic. It involves vegetables. I'm very skeptical. I'm not sure about them yet. Next up, it is Mizba with the spoiler. We got Babe Ruth here. Whoops. Now, no, it's no whoops. It, <laughs> you got excited about the deal, man, and I love that. But here, perfect. Get out of the light a little. This here is a American baseball player, Babe Ruth, uh, head for the mountains. You know, he hit a home run. He's like looking off. That's a pretty cool piece. We should make some pretty good money there. Good frame again. Very good frame once again, as Mizba says, and he notices. That's great. Uh, next up, we got this dog here. Now, why would I buy something like this? Is probably what you're wondering. And I thought it was a piggy bank too, because it has a bottom like a piggy bank, but it's not. It's just a porcelain dog. And why would I buy this? Well, because it was a dollar. Back to my principle of, if you can't find this at the dollar store, it could be a good buy. And Smart. it seems like pretty good logic, if you ask me. Next up, we have the Mandalorian. I'm not even gonna take this one out, wow. but it's a Mandalorian poster. I only grabbed it because it has 
uh, Cara Dune on it, and that's Gina Carrelli. I don't know. I can't say her last name, but she was canceled recently by Disney for some weird anti-Semitic. I don't know. She said some weird stuff, and it was very bizarre. But I bought the poster anyway because somebody down the line might want to be a collector of that. Now, Nisba, if you could follow me around the side here, we got some more stuff over here. All right. Now, Misba, you're a soda guy, right? Yeah, I would say yeah, so. Yeah, I would say so, too. Not publicly, but... Yeah, very not publicly, because he's a very big fitness guy, and if anybody would find out about his soda addiction, this would crumble his career <laughs> tremendously, and it would hurt him. Ah, uh, he's kidding. Yeah, but it would. <laughs> anyway, Soda Pop. Back in, like, early or late, I don't know, early 2000s, they came out with the Soda Stream machine. Do you remember these? Oh, they had these yeah. in the mall. You would go around. They'd be like, come on, man. Come up, sir. Try some fresh soda. And the soda was fantastic. It was like, well, hey, man, where's the sugar at? And they're like, there is no sugar. That's what they would tell you. Or that would be like a very little sugar. Right here, I have a brand new inbox soda stream with soda flavors. We could make soda right now if we wanted to. We're not going to because there's value here. And the addiction. Yes, and an addiction. You know, Caffeine is the number one drug in America. It's very not talked about. You know, this is where I want to take a moment just to talk about the war on drugs on caffeine and its problem. So we're back. And Ms. But he just went on to tear about how much he loves soda. We had to cut that part. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but anyway, <clears throat> off to the, the little parts bag here. I don't think I have any big parts back here. Oh, one more big item. This is from Kmart. It's an ocean racer. It's 50% off. She gave it to me for $2.50. I don't know if it's worth anywhere near that, but it has a Kmart sticker on it and it still says new. Um, all right, let's bring it around front here again, Ms. But we got a little bit of bag I want to go over. Oop. Okay, we're back. Now, this bag here, again, I didn't pay too much for everything. I bought this little latte plaque. Ms. B, you're a latte guy, right? No? Uh, too much milk. I too like, much milk. Yeah, yeah. Normal coffee with cream. But you're into macchiatos. Um, sometimes. Which is like the same thing as a latte, right? Uh, yeah, you're not much of a coffee guy. I wouldn't know the difference no, no. either, so it doesn't Duncan. bother me. I'm a Duncan. Duncan. Yeah. Duncan guy. Oh, there's a difference. Oh, yes. The coffee guy or the America Duncan runs guy? On Duncan. America runs on Duncan. All right, this next item here, I was pretty happy about this item. This is a strange item. Now, it is a little, uh, miniature japanese fan kind of display it's pretty cool hey, what's the scenery on it um beijing oh. so it's not japanese it's china it's a wall yeah it is a wall now next up there's some mickey mantle gear this guy gave me all the mickey mantle gear for five bucks a box of cards i found a steve R young rookie in there I think it's worth a little bit of money. I hear the train coming. It should be a good end of the video. This here was also some pewter. This is actually a pretty cool item. This was the Superman thing I picked up in the store. It's a Superman mold from 1966. They used to make Superman action figures in this. What do you think about that, Ms. Boone? Oh, wow. That looks like a crime scene. Are you more of a Superman guy or a Batman guy? Batman. Really? Yeah. Wow. I've seen Batman's couple. I'm a Batman guy myself because it's like more realistic in my opinion. I mean, like, wow, if I amass enough money, I could be a crime fighting crusader. Vigilante. Vigilante. Another Mickey Mantle signed photo. It's not a real autograph, or else I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> Plasticville. I bought, I don't know if you remember, I bought two more Plasticville pieces this morning. Is that Monopoly? Plasticville? So Plasticville pieces are like train scenery pieces. They kind of put them around like fake landscapes so people like run their model trains around them. Oh. This was a knockoff Lego set called Bamboo. Does it fly? Um, it does not, it's Legos, so <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, and we're to the bottom of it now. Ms. Boy, are you a seasonings guy? Um, yeah, I can be. Oh, yeah? Well, right here we have a salt and pepper shaker. Look at this thing. Oh, I love how that's the seasoning from the white guy. Right? 
<laughs> what is that not seasoning to you? I mean, not really. <laughs> well, what, what were you thinking? You were tikka like masala, tikka masala. Chicken that's tandoori. like that's a that's just chicken, right? Or jerk seasoning for carrot. Jerk seasoning, seasoning. Wow. Salt and pepper is like you know your Arab. Just kidding. It's real bougie. It's real basic. Yeah. He said Arab. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. They're gonna be in. The, they're gonna be in the comments like what? <laughs> Yeah, and Mickey Mantle book in there. That's about it. That'll pretty much do it. Oh, also, I bought this, like, there's no cigars in here, but it was a cigar box. These are going for, like, 40 bucks on eBay empty, mm. which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. But, uh... Oh, there's nothing in there? No. But, uh, hey, thanks for watching, people. I know I took some time up in your day. So let me take some more time up in your day. And like and subscribe to me. And also Purebred Weirdo. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Wait, do you have any shout-outs? Do you have anything you want to get in? No, Purebred Weirdo, that'd be awesome. That's it? Yeah, and then your channel. Right. All right. That's all he's got for you. I seem like a cat person either. Oh, I'm a big cat person. No, I don't believe that. I'm a huge cat person. Look at this guy. Watch. Watch him. Hey, what's going on, bud? What's up, bud? Damn, dog. Don't shake it off. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs>